my dear friends it's Chelsea and welcome to money Mondays today is Thanksgiving Monday here in Canada to all of you my fellow Canadians happy turkey day so today I want to share with you three ways that you can switch from poverty mindset scarcity mindset into prosperity mindset and abundance consciousness so three ways number one is gratitude gratitude is not just words thank you thank you when you're saying thank you but you're not really energizing thank you with emotion now that's not quite the gratitude that invokes this power and the law of gratitude if you can just put your hand on your heart and make gratitude your whole body experience really feel it in your body maybe in your heart think of something or someone that you're truly grateful for don't look for just like items okay i'm thankful for the painting i'm thankful for this and that just think about an experience that makes you feel so grateful and then when you feel it in your body just imagine the gratitude is light and when you're feeling it in your body expand it as much as you can so you can feel it everywhere in your toes in your fingertips in your head so feel it everywhere so you know that when you feel grateful entirely this is the experience of gratitude and most people most successful people i know actually all of them without exception <laughs> practice gratitude and they take their time they're not rushing through gratitude they're really feeling these emotions in them so if you want to change to go from scarcity mindset to prosperity mindset start with the simple daily intense gratitude practice so number two creativity creative energy everything around you is the expression of creative energy including this planet including all the stars in this entire universe macro and then micro all of the cells in your body now that's the entire universe the expression of creative energy understand that creative energy is always working in you and through you you are contributing to this process of evolution cosmic evolution of consciousness now that's happening all the time and your natural state is creative state it doesn't matter what you do you don't have to be an artist creative energy you can be uh, an engineer you can be a barista now that's all creative energy so everything is creative energy so when you understand that this is what's flowing through you in your natural state is the state of creativity you get out of the competitive mindset you stop comparing yourself to other people many times you know when I'm sharing a lot of ideas with people I hear, you know, Chelsea, you're giving it all away. <laughs> you are sharing all of your secrets. And the, and the truth is, when you live from this creative mindset, there is no shortage of ideas. There is, I'm so happy to share everything I know, say, with you, because from where I standpoint, the generosity mindset is that creative mindset. If you feel like there's not enough or some people can steal your stuff, if you feel like there's something is going to happen and take away your joy, take away your money, you will constantly live in fear. Life is an experience. Be generous. Be expressive. Be creative. Create. 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 Ask yourself, what can I create? Instead of how can I save and how can I put everything just to keep it all to myself? Open up. How can I create? How can I express my creativity daily? When you ask this question, you will go from scarcity mindset to prosperity mindset. And number three, inspired action. I don't believe when I hear sometimes some YouTubers like you have to hustle, you have to work hard. That's not what this is about. You can take inspired action daily and you can only hustle, you can only persist. Hard work is possible if you love what you do. If you don't love what you do, you're not going to persist. 
It's against human nature. Why would you do? Why would you work so hard against something that you don't like that is not of your highest values? Hustle refers to doing the work that you love with highest intensity. Because when you're so in love with what you do, the work is easy, even though it feels like you're working seven days a week. But if you love what you do, if you take inspired action, that action actually gives you the energy to persevere, to move on in life. It will give you all of the right opportunities. You will be at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing <laughs> under right circumstances. But this is the action, the inspired action, the action that generates energy, and that depletes you of energy and your emotions and actually fuels your soul. When you're on the mission, you always take inspired action. So three things, gratitude, creativity, and inspired action. Three components of prosperity mindset. So I hope this helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you love and light. Be well. I'll chat with you tomorrow in tomorrow's video.